Disneyland Paris, there are two main ways to get from Charles de Gaulle Airport to your Disneyland Paris hotel. Today I'm going to talk about these two methods, my personal experience using them, and what you can expect, the pros and cons of each, and how much they will cost you. If you go from Charles de Gaulle Airport to your Disneyland Paris hotel, you're probably going to be looking at using either the Magical Shuttle or the High Speed Train. Now there are other methods to get from the airport to your hotel, such as taxis or private transfers, and even metros and local trains. I personally haven't used these, so I'm not going to cover them today, and I'm going to tell you why I haven't used them. So I haven't used a taxi or private shuttle, just because I normally go solo, so it works out very expensive, but this is a really good option if you are travelling in a group, because you can split the cost between all of you. Now using the metro and local trains is actually the cheapest way to get from the airport to Disneyland Paris, but it takes over 70 minutes and you do need to transfer and it can be a bit of a faff. Now I've personally never done this just because I was worried about having to transfer between the metros and the trains and would I get confused and also it just takes such a long time I was looking for a more speedy mode of transportation. So I have used both the magical shuttle and the high speed train to get to Disneyland Paris so today I'm going to break down everything you need to know about these two services. My name is Sophie from Most Magical Guides and if you are returning to my channel then thank you so much and if it's your first time then welcome. I make videos all about planning trips to Disneyland Paris and Disney World and even do vlogs of my own trips so if this is something you like make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So let's talk about the Magical Shuttle first. This is a coach service that takes you from Charles de Gaulle Airport to your Disneyland Paris hotel. The Magical Shuttle does also go to some of the partner hotels at Disneyland Paris so be sure to check out which ones are available via their website and I'll put a link to that down below. You can also get the Magical Shuttle from Orly Airport in Paris to these hotels too. The Magical Shuttle costs around 42 euro for a return trip, it's actually 23 euro each way for an adult and 10 euro each way for a child, it's the cheaper of the two options so that is something to consider. Something I really liked about the Magical Shuttle was that you were going from the airport straight to the door of your hotel, once you get on the coach you just sit back and relax and wait until you arrive. I was a little bit worried about getting a coach because I do get motion sick but I have to say I was so impressed it was a really really comfortable smooth ride I had no issues whatsoever so I would definitely recommend this. You do need to book the magical shuttle in advance but you can catch any coach on the day of your journey so you're not limited to a set time which is fantastic because with airports you never quite know how long it will take to get through passport withdrawal and collect baggage. I really like that this gives you flexibility and you're not having to constantly worry and think oh my gosh I've got to get there I've got to get there we're gonna miss the coach. None of that stress because you can get on any coach. As I say one of the big perks is you are literally taken to the entrance of your hotel. You just get off go into reception and then you are done. There's no having to catch further connections it is just one simple coach ride. Because this is a specific service to Disneyland Paris it can get quite busy. The last time I went when I arrived at the bus stop it was rammed and it was clear not everyone was going to get on the coach so I was really worried that I was going to have to wait for the next one but luckily they did actually send a second coach so it does seem that if they know it's a particularly busy time of day for flights they will put on additional coaches. Some of the downsides to the magical shuttle that I found is that the walk from the airport to the shuttle and vice versa is so long is insane it took me at least 30 minutes to do the walk and if you have young children with you or anyone with mobility issues it is worth factoring this in because you may need additional time at the airport to get between the coach and your terminal last time I was there I was powering through the airport trying to get to the terminal because I didn't want to be late for my flight because the walk is just so long and there was a lady who was stopping me and she was like how much further is it and I was like we're all out for ourselves guy before we get there we've got to power through <laughs> it was a nightmare it is just so unbelievably long and unlike other airports like Gatwick or Heathrow where they may have monorails or buses that go between the different terminals Chardogal Airport doesn't seem to have this. The airport layout seems to be just like one long strip with the different terminals, but the walk between the terminals is so long. Something else that's difficult is the magical shuttle is not signposted. You will have directions on your confirmation email, but in the airport itself, there is no signage telling you where the magical shuttle is. You just have to get to the right terminal and then keep an eye out. The magical shuttle bus depot actually sticks out from the terminal, so you will be looking 
looking to turn off into a corridor where you will find signage for the magical shuttle but just in the general airport you do not find it which does make it quite difficult to find one of the downsides to the magical shuttle is that only once every hour and sometimes there may even be longer gaps than that so it does mean if you just miss a coach then you will be waiting an hour at the airport to catch the next one for your return journey they recommend that you leave at least three and a half hours before your flight and this is to accommodate the fact that on the return journey you will pick up from other hotels so the return journey does take around an hour and a half compared to when you leave the airport to get to the Disney hotels it's only a 45 minute maybe an hour journey and then of course you also have to factor in that extra half an hour to walk from the magical shuttle to your terminal so that alone in total can take around two hours and then we know of course you also have to leave extra extra time to get through security, passport control. So definitely make sure you leave at least three and a half, maybe four hours before your flight. One of the reasons I couldn't use the magical shuttle during my last trip was the hours of operation. It tends to start operating from the airport to the hotels around 9 a.m. and finish around 6, 7 p.m. in the evening, depending on the time of year you visit. I caught an afternoon flight and I landed just before 6 p.m. So I wouldn't have had enough time to get through passport control and all of that and then get to the shuttle before the last shuttle left. So that was why I actually ended up using the high speed train for the first time during my last trip. If you check out the Magical Shuttle website, they do have a schedule on there so you can see exactly what times it operates and they do it for both the return and the outbound journey. So you can see exactly the times you would be able to get for your specific flights. Now leaving from the hotels, going back to the airport, they do start earlier. Buses start from around 6.30 in the morning, which is really helpful but again in the evening if you do have a late flight the last shuttle leaves from 6 p.m and then it stops at different hotels so they will go slightly later times depending on what hotel you are staying at but it's not particularly very late in the evening so this is something to consider if you have a very late flight back that night overall i very much enjoyed using the magical shuttle i like that it goes straight to your hotel there's no faff it's a very comfortable journey the only things i didn't really like about the magical shuttle was the fact that if you miss one you have to wait quite a long time for the next one the fact that they don't operate very late into the evening and also the crazy long walk from the shuttle to the terminal. As I mentioned during my last trip, I used the high speed train for the first time because the magical shuttle was not operating. People had told me, once you use the high speed train, you will not go back. And I think they might be right. Some of the things I absolutely loved about the high speed train is it takes just 10 minutes to get from the airport to Disneyland Paris. It's literally the next stop. What is super fantastic about this is you then either have the option to head straight into the parks or you can get the bus to your hotel and the bus station is literally right next door to the train station. If you did want to head straight into the parks, Disney offers something called the Luggage Express, where basically you leave your luggage at the airport, they give you your park tickets, you go into the park and then they take your bags to your hotel for you. They also do this on the return, so you just leave your bags at your hotel, they take them to the train station and it means you don't have to go and collect your baggage before going home, so you get more time in the parks. The Luggage Express costs around 17 euro which is about 14 pounds per person and it operates seven days a week so you can do it no matter what day you arrive the train station is really easy to find in Chardegal airport because unlike the magical shuttle it is very well signposted you will see lots of signs pointing you in the direction and you definitely can't miss it there are also lots of trains throughout the day so you have more flexibility with timings one thing i would note though is sometimes you will get multiple trains in one hour and then sometimes there are large gaps so this is something to consider when you're thinking about using the high-speed train I would definitely look up the timetable ahead of your trip just to see if your flight times and the train times do match up but the train does start operating earlier and runs later than the magical shuttle so this could be a really fantastic option if you do have early or late flights so you are able to book the high-speed train in advance which is something that I did during my last trip I actually booked the last train of the day because I had quite a late flight and I knew I would give myself lots of time if I did this. It was actually quite annoying that I did that because there were trains earlier 
I could have caught, I just didn't know how long it was gonna to take to get through customs and it ended up taking me not very long. So I had to hang around. What I would say is next time I would just buy it when I arrived and then I could get straight onto the next train and not have to wait around at all. Booking in advance can be a little bit of a risk just in case there are any delays to your flight and then you miss your train. So as I say, you can absolutely buy them when you arrive and this is probably the best option. The big downside to the high speed train is the cost. This is definitely the most expensive way to get from the airport to Disneyland Paris. It cost me 35 euro each way, 70 euro in total, which is about 60 pounds. 30 pounds per way for a 10 minute journey is insane. It has to be one of the most expensive rail journeys in the world, I would imagine, but it is super convenient. They do say if you book your trains very far in advance, the price is cheaper and it can start from around 15 euro. So you may want to take that risk if the cost is a consideration for you, but I would definitely make sure you give yourself lots of time to get on that train. I booked my tickets in advance and they were still 35 euro, the same price they would have been if I'd booked them when I arrived so next time I think that is what I'm gonna do. If you do want to book in advance you can either book directly with the French train operator or with UK websites such as thetrainline.com. What I would say is with thetrainline.com you do have to pay fees which you don't have to with the French operator's website. So I personally use the French website Google Translate translated the whole page for me, so it's super easy to do. And the other thing that was great is if you do it with the French operator, then you can also make amendments, change your times, stuff like that. So that's definitely worth considering. So that is everything you need to know about both the Magical Shuttle and the High Speed Train. I've used both and I've had no problems with both. I've enjoyed both and I would recommend both. But I would say for me, the High Speed Train had the edge. Yes, it was slightly more expensive, but the convenience of being there in just 10 minutes was so excellent. Also, there's more regular trains and they run later and earlier in the day. So depending on your flight times, it's a lot more convenient. I have future Disneyland Paris trips booked and for them, I'm gonna be using the high speed train again, just because I just really, really loved it. It was so, so quick and so convenient. And I was right at Disney in 10 minutes, which what can be better than that? I also really love that you can leave your luggage at the airport and go straight to the parks. I haven't actually used this service with the high speed train, but I have used it when I've used the Eurostar and it was excellent. Between getting off the train and being on Space Mountain took me 15 minutes. It was epic. So I would definitely recommend this service if you are using the trains and you wanna go straight into the park. I hope this video has been helpful if you are planning your own upcoming Disneyland Paris trip. If you are, let me know what your countdown is because it's always the most exciting when you have a countdown. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a most magical day. Bye-bye.